Sawate Diskibili, Egosum Magisti Carol. Today we are going to be talking about the stage 10 vocabulary from the chapter titled Retor of the Cambridge Latin Course 5th edition. Let's begin. Our first word is abit abit, a verb that means goes away. It's the, a compound word from ab and eo, literally away from and go. So pinguinus abit, the penguin is going away. Our next word, akepit akepit, is a verb that means accept or receives. The filia donum akepit, the daughter receives the gift. Kalidus is an adjective that means clever or smart. The puer erat kalidus is the boy was smart. Contentus is an adjective meaning satisfied or content. Keberus est in via contentus. Keberus is satisfied in the street. Exclamit exclamuit is a verb that means exclaims or literally shouting out. The compound word with ex, out from, and clamat, shout. The grumio exclamawit, exclamat. Grumio shouts out or grumio exclaims. Our next word, frater, is a third declension noun, and it's masculine. That means brother. So frat, fratre sunt contenti. The brothers are content. Habitat habitawit is a verb that means lives. Caecilius in Pompeius habitat. So Caecilius lives in Pompeii. Imperium is a second declension noun. That means both empire or power of the army, power over the army. And you can see how those are re really related. You get an empire when you have power over the army. So Imperium Romanum Erat Magnum, the Roman Empire was large. In when it, in when it is a verb that means finds. It's a, another compound word where in and when it are pushed together. So literally to come into something. You get the English word invent from it. So Pisces Nemium in when it. So the fish find Nemo. Our next word is liber, a second declension noun. And you might be saying, wait a minute, Mr. Carroll, second declension nouns in the US. Well, remember a couple chapters ago, we met puer. Same concept here. This is an irregular second declension. All right, so it's going to end in the R. It's masculine and it means book. Obviously, we get the word library from it. So multi libri sunt uh, in taberna sunt. So many books are in the shop. Nos is a pronoun meaning we. It's literally it's the plural of ego. So nos exclamamus. We shout out. We exclaim. Nuntia nuntiawit is a verb that means announces. Obviously related to the noun nuntius, the messenger. So the nuntius nuntiat. The messenger announces. Pax is a third declension noun. It's feminine. That means peace. Dona nobis pacem is something that you might say if you attend a Catholic mass. Um, give peace to us or grant us peace. Portus is a second declension noun that's masculine. and It means port or harbor. We've seen a, a feminine form of this, porta, that means gate. You can see how they're related. They're things that you kind of go through. So, Ostia es portus Romae. Ostia is the port of Rome. Quam is an adverb, and this is a tricky one. It can mean than or it can mean how. It will only ever mean than whenever you see an adjective with this OR in it. And it will only ever mean how in the Cambridge Latin books when you have a sentence with an exclamation point at the end. So here, nos Romani sunt calidores quam vos brighti. So we Romans are smarter than you Greeks. But with the exclamation point, it's how beautiful is the girl? Semper is an adverb that means always. So the Marine Corps' uh, motto is semper fidelis, always faithful. Serwat serwawit is a verb that means saves or protects. Servus is not serwat. So this is a noun that means slave. This is a verb that means saves. So Quintus Felicem serwat. Quintus saves Felix. 
solus is an adjective that means alone or lonely. So in this picture, homo est solus, the person is alone. Suus is a possessive adjective, and it, it can mean his, her, or their. Um, so hike est sua villa, this is his villa, or this is her villa. Taketakuit is a verb that means is silent or is quiet. We are taket. The man is quiet. Uxor is a third declension noun. It's feminine, and it means wife. So we are at Uxor, husband and wife. Wehmentor is an adverb that means violently or loudly or very much. It can mean a bunch of these things. So the homo wehmentor exclamatory. The man shouts out violently, which is the exact opposite of this picture here. Wos is a pronoun that means you all. It's the plural of two. So wos ad estis. You all are present. And that's it for today's video. As always, if you have comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section or ask them of me in class. Gratias wobis ago for watching my video. And until next time, wallete.